You know, it depends on the home inspector. It depends on what they've done. You know, in every single industry, I don't care if it's roofing, concrete, home inspectors, you've got really good ones and you've got really bad ones. Trying to figure out who they are and what they're going to do and, and the quality of work they're gonna do is really difficult. But one of the things you can do to safeguard yourself when the home inspector is there, it's a really good idea to be there. See if he actually climbs on the roof. Did he do a ladder inspection? Was the roof too steep? So did he just put his ladder up, climb to the top of the ladder? kind of do a visual go up, yep, it's good, and then climb back down because that is not sufficient. Depending, you know, if it's a 412, a 612, you know, that's the pitch of the roof. Those are pretty easy. Most roof inspectors will climb up on that. They'll walk around no problem. But once they start getting more steep, some of the really good ones, they'll do it anyway. They know how to do it. Some of them are like, mm, you know what? I'm just going to do it from the ladder. You're just not going to see everything. In the last month, I've had three homes where they were inspected. The home inspector said, roof looks good. It can be certified, but you have moss problems, so you want to hire a roofer to come out and take care of the moss. Comes back to us, they call us, and they say, hey, can you, you know, come out and look at the roof and tell us what it needs for moss control? Put my ladder up, climb on the roof, and my first question is, did you just buy the house? And they're like, yeah, we had it inspected. Like, okay, well, there's some problems. And literally, this has happened three times in the last month. There are some shingle manufacturers that had bad asphalt get into their shingles quite a few years ago, between 10 and 15 years, causing all the granules to fall off the roof prematurely. You're not gonna see that unless it's on the southwest side. If the home inspector put his ladder up on the north side, went to the top of the ladder and looked at it, he's gonna go, yep, it looks good. He never walked over to the other side that the weather's hitting. All the granules on one of these roofs were completely falling off, this roof is shot. And unfortunately, they're already in the house. They've already purchased it. They're the next homeowner. They have no warranty on that roof. The shingle manufacturer is basically going to tell them, I'm sorry, you're the second or third homeowner. We're not covering that. So now I'm giving them this bad news that their roof is shot. Maybe not shot. doesn't even be replaced right this second, but it's, it's at the end of its life. They could have negotiated that price. There are other issues if it's steep. Did the inspector get up there and make sure the valleys were correct, that he wasn't missing shingles, that the pipe lashings were correct? Did he do a ladder inspect or did he really get on the roof? Be there at your home when the home inspector does it and physically look at what he does. If he physically didn't get on the roof, maybe ask that question, do you want to have a roofer come take a look at that with harnesses if need be? 